Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So last week I shared the first part of the garden makeover. If you haven't seen it, go check it out first. Not me, but someone else <laughs> uh, replaced the whole fence and I painted it after and I did some other changes as well. And today I'm going to start painting the exterior of the house, which I've never done before, but I think it's a similar thing to do than doing it inside. And first I'm going to power wash the whole thing because, you know, it's so dirty and there are spider webs everywhere and stuff so I have to do that first and then once it dried I can start painting so as you can see currently we have a uh, white um, exterior walls and um, there are some black accents what I decided to do is still using two colors where we have the black color I'm gonna paint those areas with the green color it's called where is it um it's called Creekside Green by Benjamin Moore. And I got a small can. Um, I think it's gonna be fine and it's gonna be enough, but let's see, because that's where I thought with the fence as well, but it's a smaller area. And by the way, I'm just doing uh, um, the back side of the house. I'm not gonna do the front now because I don't have time for it now and I also think that the main thing is getting done the garden and the outside uh, I mean the uh, the back area done and then a front can be done later and that's gonna be a different project and it's not that huge makeover it's mostly painting so I can do that later even in a few months or I don't know exactly when but um, I'm just gonna do the back uh, area so I'm gonna apply the the green color first two coats probably and it's good for wood metal everything and then um the next day probably i'm gonna apply um the color on the on the exterior walls so we have white color at the moment and i didn't want to go crazy i wanted to keep uh the color palette like not neutral obviously because we picked like a really bold uh purple color for the fence but I wanted to keep the exterior of the house minimal a little bit so um, I picked like um, still a white color but it's like an off-white uh, it's called baby fawn by Benjamin Moore it's a beautiful color I think I mean that's right I mean what I'm picturing in, in my mind I think it's gonna look amazing so I got this one element guard and I got two gallons um, so apparently let me just get my phone so it dries in one hour, which is good, and it can be applied as soon as 60 minutes before rainfall, which is good, because the weather is kind of tricky at the moment, so uh, yeah, I need to make sure that it's gonna be fine. And it provides excellent addition, resistance to cracking and peeling, and it can be applied for masonry, concrete, wood, everything. Um, so I'm gonna apply two coats probably with just a roller. I got like a really good um, set for like four pounds. It was 16, uh, but I got it for four. And let me just bring it. So yeah, so this is the one. So this is a masonry roller pole set and it was four pounds instead of 16. So I got a good deal with this. And I know I could use a paint sprayer, but I just didn't want to spend hundreds of pounds on it because the good ones cost that much. So I think it's going to be fine just to use this one. And um, yeah, so I'm going to change and start power washing the house. And then once it's dried, I can start painting. Now on the 
this boat and we all know where we belong Just wait Ooh, Wait for our home to show on the horizon soon we'll be there Hold on tight I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just So yesterday I finished painting the exterior of the house. I love the colors and the owner loves them as well. I think the black and white was just too harsh and these two colors, this off-white creamy white with the green color, I think just it, it looks better I think and also it's just a lot softer. I haven't mentioned it yet but I was thinking to paint the concrete slabs as well because after I painted everything they just looked horrible you know and I'm afraid I'm gonna do everything and then at the end the concrete slabs are gonna ruin the experience um, so I decided to paint them I got this paint um, so it's paint for basically for outside and I got the cream color I think that's gonna look nice I didn't want to get um, a really dark black or gray one so apparently it's just you just have to wash the surface and then apply it like a normal way you would apply paint I'm gonna do some weeding and then I have to power wash the concrete slabs and then I have to wait for them to dry and then I can apply I think I'm gonna apply two coats I'm gonna start with the edges using just a brush and then a paint roller to apply the paint on the rest of the slabs so let's see um, I'm hoping it's gonna look nice so yeah oh and yeah and also um, you know we have those two planters outside but they are falling apart I already got rid of one of them because it was just full of weed and the other one actually has some flowers so I'm gonna replant them into terracotta pots because I was thinking to get other planters but they are so expensive especially the, the big ones so I decided to just get terracotta pots and then just replant those and I'm gonna also plant some other flowers as well So yesterday I started to paint the concrete slabs as you could see and I hated it like so much <laughs> it was not good the color was so light it was nothing like the color on the can I know it's never 100% the same but on the can it was a beigey creamy color and this paint is like a white paint almost white and it was just too light I didn't like it at all and you know when I started to apply it I right away I was like okay this is not good but okay let's just trust the process and just keep going so I kept going but you know what just F the process because this time it didn't work <laughs> After that I was like what what am I gonna do I already started to paint I cannot remove that paint and it looks awful I'm not gonna get a different color because there's no guarantee that I'm gonna like that color and I don't want to waste money and time so what I decided to do is just to flip the slabs where I could so I got rid of that color basically which is good but you know there were some areas where I couldn't do that so I decided to just paint those areas with the green color that I used on the on the house and I was like it's a lot better this way than having the white color there this area is in the corner it's not gonna be really visible because I'm just gonna have a storage unit there for her it's not gonna be a space that she's gonna be in all the time so I'm fine with that so I decided to not paint the slabs because I was like this is not working so I just did the weeding and then I power washed everything so actually the power wash was helping a bit it's not like crazy big difference but it's still better than it was so I'm happy with it
hope you guys enjoyed the second part of this makeover. Next week, you're gonna see the third episode, which is gonna be the last one. Finally, I'm gonna add the furniture, the decor, and the finishing touches, and I can't wait to share the end result with you guys. Make sure to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.